If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I love floral nails. To get this look, you'll need four shades of pink, two shades of green, a base color, makeup sponges, scissors, tweezers, acetone, paper towel, tin foil, a nail art brush, cuticle oil, and a good base and top coat. Before I even get started, I lay out my paper towel, cut up my makeup sponges into tiny pieces, put acetone in a cup, lay out a piece of tin foil, and loosen the lid on all my polish bottles. Once my base coat and base color have dried, I apply cuticle oil using a small art brush to the skin. I apply this on my cuticle as close to my nail bed as I can. This helps with cleanup. It also protects my skin from polish because I am going to get polish on my skin with the sponging technique that I'm going to use today. Be really careful not to get any cuticle oil on your nail or your polish won't stick. Picking the cut up sponges up with my tweezers, I'm dabbing them in the polish colors and then dabbing them onto my nail. I'm careful not to put the polish in the same spot on every nail because I don't want a uniform look. With this technique, you will get polish on your skin and it's a good idea to clean up the polish as you go. The cuticle oil that's on your skin really will help with the removal, so it should come off fairly easy. Once your cleanup is done and your nails are dry, you're ready to start adding your roses. This is my inspiration for this design. It's a wallpaper from a website called wallcoo.net. W-A-L-L-C-O-O dot net. I'm using a very thin art brush and polish to create my design. And I'm simply copying the pattern that I see on the wallpaper. For this rose in particular, it's basically just a spiral, working from the inside out. As I get to the outer line, I make it a little bit squiggly, just so that the rose isn't a perfect circle. If you find your lines aren't dark enough, just simply go back and apply more polish. When I first came across this pattern as the inspiration, I was going to do the watercolor technique with acrylic paints, but my preference is always to work with polish, so the polish went out, and I'm doing it this way. However, if you want to try this design with the watercolor technique, I'll put a link in the comments below to Trendy Polish and Melissa Rose YouTube page because they both have a great tutorial on the watercolor look using acrylic paints. Once your design and cleanup are done, make sure your nails are dry before you add your top coat for that final look. Thanks so much for watching. The comments below will include all of the polish colors I used. Feel free to visit me on Instagram, Christabel Nails. Subscribing and a thumbs up are always appreciated. Thanks so much.